Hello and welcome to another exciting video. Now today we will be taking a look at how we can create navigation bar, both top navigation bar as well as side navigation bar and also we will see how we can create a progress bar which looks something like this where you can see that it's going on for indefinite period of time and this can be used for cases where you have submitted a request to the server and waiting for a response from it. So for such scenarios, these progress bars really comes in handy. And using Pico CSS, these navigation bars and the progress bar that I just showed you is a piece of cake. Now here you can see the top navigation section. And for this, what we have done is we have made use of nav bar. Within the navigation bar, we have then taken UL elements. So when you make use of UL elements inside the navigation tag, then these spread horizontally. So here you have ULLI and then another ULLI. And if you see the output, we have the brand name on the one side and then these three links on the other side. So that's the top navigation bar. And then if you see how we have created the sidebar. For sidebar, you need to wrap the nav inside a side tag. So inside a side tag, when you do this ULLI, these will be stacked one below the other in a vertical direction. Similarly, if you want to create a breadcrumb, so here you can see within the main container, what I've done is I have made use of navigation tag and all I have to do is just provide this area label as breadcrumb. When I do that, the same navigation bar is then generated as a breadcrumb. So you have home, you have category, you have page that way. Now, coming on to the progress bar, here you can see I've just written progress and that's all. When you do it using Pico CSS, this progress bar is then converted to an indefinite progress bar where the animation will keep on going forever. And this is something which I was suggesting can be used when you are sending some requests to the server and you're waiting for a response from that side. So the duration within which you are expecting the response this could be used as a placeholder. If you want to specify some values to this progress bar, you can do that as well. So here you can see I've provided the value as 25 and max value is 100. Now if I save this and you go over here, you can see this top progress bar that we have shows the progress of 25%. And as you can see, these things are pretty straightforward when you are making use of Pico CSS. You're not actually writing any extra line of code as far as CSS is concerned, and you're still getting the desired result. I hope you like this one. Stay tuned for more such videos.